Episode 1, starting my family through the surrogacy process. Looking back at it, in 2011, I don't really remember what the catalyst was. I do know that there was decision making along the way that needed to be done, but at that time I didn't know what it was. But what I'm doing here is giving you, in a structured way, an account of the process so that you can make decisions that are right for you at every fork in the road. Bit of terminology for you. IPs, intended parents, people like me who at the time were wanting to have a family. Gestational surrogates. A gestational surrogate is a woman who is carrying a baby. It's not her egg, it's not the sperm, it's not her embryos. She is just the uterus. Traditional surrogate, a lady who provides the egg and carries the baby at the same time. One of the next decisions that you have to go through when thinking about surrogacy is in which jurisdiction are you going to do it? There are multiple jurisdictions, each with cost implications and legal implications. For example, in the United Kingdom, where I live, you're not allowed to pay a surrogate. You're not allowed to advertise that you want a surrogate and no surrogate is allowed to advertise that she wants to be a surrogate. So it's a bit complicated. One of the other things in the United Kingdom which filled me with dread is that the birth mother is counted as the legal mother. Therefore, she has rights. And that means that up to six weeks post birth, she has the ability to say, I don't want to give this baby to the intended parents. All of those things led me to the decision that I wanted to look at a different jurisdiction. And the United States is the global benchmark, the gold standard of surrogacy, where everybody is legally represented. There are psychologists involved, there are lawyers, there are professionals. So I knew from the outset that everybody was empowered to make decisions in the process. And if they decided that they did not want to move forward, they could say no and the process would stop. So all of those things led me to think that the United Kingdom was not a place where I wanted to go down the surrogacy route. So I looked at different jurisdictions. If you enjoyed this episode, then please like, follow and subscribe wherever you listen to your podcasts. Also, please follow us at IVF Daddy's handle. We are here.